DJ Swearinger, safety. I'm a junior from Greenwood, South Carolina. Growing up in Greenwood was football for me. Football, all sports actually. Football, basketball, baseball. Uh, my mom coached me in basketball through Little League. My dad coached me in football through Little League. So I was with my family. My family helped me out a lot. Um, I played, played in neighborhoods with older guys, really. Um, when I was, since I was like four or five, I always played with guys that were about six years older than me. So I would say they got me tough and everything with the football and all the sports. They, they knocked me around. I mean, when I was little, they knocked me around. And I mean, I didn't cry or anything. I mean, I was that tough little kid. And you know, I, they, they, liked me, they liked me to be around them because I was that tough kid that was always competing no matter what. If my mom wasn't there for me, I don't know, no telling where I'd be right now. She coached me from when I was six to all the way to I was 11. Actually, when I was nine years old, uh, I made a D on my interim report. Not report card, my interim report. She took me off, off, off her team. I mean, I probably cried for weeks, you know, not being able to play basketball my, when I was nine. And, but yeah, I made a D on my interim report. She took me off the team. That's one of the things that I never forget. I can't even explain it, you know. Please my mom, please my dad, my family is, is, is I have no words, you know. When my mom was talking about being competitive, she said she just don't really even know where, where I got that competitive drive from. She was competitive, she played at Benedict College basketball. My dad also played in high school, he played he ran running back and uh, ran track. But he but they told me they didn't know where that competitive drive came from. I just always had it from when I was little, competing with everything I do, just trying to be the best and wanting to win. Everybody on the team really knows me as the hitter or that hitter that's, I mean, anytime you run it by me, you, I'm going to hit you. He's a leader, leads by his actions. Uh, he makes sure he knows that he's on the field, he's going to let you know he's on the field, he's going to hit you in the mouth. First pick six against Troy. I had been watching this, this certain route on film all week, and um, asked for the play, I told CC and the King uh, that this, this, they're running double ends, this is a play that run double ends. And um, before the play, I just calling it out. And before the wide receiver even broke, I just took off and the, the ball was right there. So I just jogged in the end zone for six. I'm, I'm looking forward to getting plenty more of those this year. My senior year in high school, I helped out. Two semesters, I helped out, um, helping out a second grade class at a school and a fourth grade class. I mean, I love making kids happy because when, when I was little, you know, I looked up the guys when I was going to the high school games. I looked up the guys in high school that were top recruits. And I was like, I wanted to be like them one day. And I, I just, you know, I think about that and I see those kids and you know, they probably think the same thing. So I just want to be that leader for them.